It's all right, hun. It's okay, hun. It's all okay, hun. It's all right. It's all right. He's just checking things out. He's partying, hun. Hey, Penny. How you doing? It's all right, killer. It's all right, killer. It's all right, killer. Hey, Faye. Looking at the Milwaukee, Milwaukee Bridge masterpiece. You know, this bridge was actually being constructed, and uh, the company that was doing it, uh, as they got across the river, not far from joining the two halves, it wouldn't fit. They couldn't fit it together, and they had to fire them and get a new company in the middle of it. Good girl, hun. Way to keep your eyes open, hun. Way to keep your eyes open. That a girl, hun. Good girl. That a girl. Hun. Hey, Dolly. I'm looking at the Milwaukee Bridge masterpiece. You ever come down to this little park down here? Hey Liliana, how you doing? Yeah, Daisy's a good dog. That's my girl. That's her protector. She ran her ass off today on the ice. Daisy, didn't you run on the ice, hon? Checking the ice out. She got to eat a Mr. Hot Dog. And then she took an hour nap. That a girl, hon. Keep an eye on that guy. Hey, Tammy. That a girl, hon. That a girl. What's he doing over there? What's he doing? That a girl. Good girl. Guard, guard van, hon. Hey, Annie, how's it going? That a girl. There's a lot of uh, wildlife around here. You see, now this is, here we are, January 5th. <laughs> and normally there'd be a ton of guys out here ice fishing. Just a little bit of ice. Daisy will get him. That a girl, hun. Good job. Good job. Daisy's partner here in the middle. Good girl, hun. Good job. Good job. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Kim. How's it going? Hey, Boydmore. Oh, Holly. Okay. I took photos off this bridge one time. If you look up there, the right before you start on the bridge, there's a sign, no stopping, standing, or parking. Little, little sign. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I spend time with my Daisy. She sleeps with Dad all night. Yeah, checking out. I went out. I went out to the Nyang Queen uh, Wildlife bur uh, place today. Walked out there, talked a couple ice fishermen. Then I went to Barnes and Noble. I got a Mr. Hot Dog. Got two coffees. Another busy day. Hey, Kathy. I talked to Sharon for about ten minutes. I just got a th notice today they shipped my GoPro. About time, I ordered it over a week ago. Hey, Sassy. Hey, Brian. There's a lot of perch swim up here, perch and walleye. Oh, that's all right, Dolly. Dolly, you ever come down here to this little park? It's actually a Zawaki. It's a nice little park. You can see the bridge. Yeah, perch, yep. 
Actually, uh, Saginaw Bay is like uh, well known for perch and walleye. It's like the perfect uh, place for them. I guess, now a guy was telling me today the perch numbers are down, but I just read an article in this sporting magazine that says they're up. Evidently the walleye eat the perch. I never hear anybody talking about crappy. I don't know if that's like a good environment for crappy. I know the perch are 12 to 14 inches. I didn't know perch were that big. That's pretty good big perch, I think. Yeah. They've got a dredge. You know, this is quite a shot from uh, the bay to where I'm at right now. But the freighter, actually, the smaller freighters, the uh, 300 footers. 400 footers they come up here and dump off this limestone to these concrete companies they, they have to dredge though the Saginaw Bay or it'd never make it it'd be running on beaching itself yeah big time Brian you're right yeah yeah I haven't even uh, I haven't nobody said anything about crappies I never hear anybody talking about them now, I a, what a guy did tell me, though, you know, they had those dam breaches up around Sanford. Uh, you know, those places where I went that it flooded. And, you know, that whole area, the Titabawaski, all the way down to uh, Saginaw Bay, you know, that water isn't a foot deep. I mean, all the dams failed and all, washed all the fish out of that whole area all the way down into the bay and as it turns out I didn't know this but in Sanford there was uh, that was pretty good musky fish fishing well there's no musky there now because there's no water there but now this guy was telling me that he's talked to like four people that have hooked these big ass fish in Saginaw Bay that broke their line and they're assuming it was some of the muskies that have made their way down the Titabawassee during the flooding that are just hanging out in the Saginaw Bay Yeah, isn't that interesting? Yeah. Oh, springtime? Yeah, I don't... I don't, I don't fish. I don't fish, so I don't, I don't really know. Yeah. I bought this sporting... You know, I don't hunt or fish, but I bought, I, was, I bought a new depth chart today. I've got every bit of published material on the Great Lakes, the inland rivers, and they came out with new ones. Here's one on the Detroit River right here. Right here, Detroit River. Why this is so dark? This thing sucks. I got one on the Detroit River right here. And I just bought a new one today. Plus I've got all the uh, atlases. I just bought a new one today. On the Saginaw Bay and the Titabawassee River. Yeah, they, they have these hybrid bluegills up at Clear Lake, you know, the kind that can't produce offspring, these big old giant bluegills. They have a bluegill fest. Oh, how far south? Uh, it's, I would, my guess would be, I think it's 24 feet. It's not deep at all. I mean, they just ran a freighter uh, around uh, here about a month ago. Detroit... Detroit River, uh, you know, it's technically a strait. It's not a river. And, you know, you got Lake St. Clair, which is not a great lake, by the way. Most people don't realize that. It jams all that water down in it. So the water, the current's relatively quick, about five miles an hour on the Detroit River. So it pushes a lot of that crap out. So that's why you never see them dredging the Detroit River. You will see them dredging the Rouge River. And you'll see them dredging around Zug Island just because of the nature of the silt that comes down. And they do dredge the Livingston Channel, which is where the freighters head out to the Detroit Light. That fills up with stuff. During the, uh, you know, we had those uh, droughts for a while. I mean, water's been high for a while now. 
and uh, they were they needed to uh, reduce the loads in the freighters because they were hitting things and damaging their hulls and running the ground and all sorts of stuff. But it's the opposite now. Water's been very high. The water's very high right here. Actually, in the spring when we had that crazy uh, high, crazy flooding when it wiped out Sanford and Edenville, there was a freighter right across the river here, and they didn't want it leaving because they didn't want it uh, creating any waves or increase in uh, uh, water along the shoreline in a couple places. So they waited till the water went down somewhat before they let it leave, even though it was empty. Yeah, I remember reading as a kid about muskie in the inlet. Yeah, they're cool looking fish. In this uh, in this sporting goods magazine I was reading, you know, I'm not a hunter, so I don't buy these, but I bought this one because they had a couple good articles. This uh, Woods and Water News. But I was reading an article in there about black widow spiders. And as it turns out, most of the bites used to occur when people were in outhouses. They, they like the nest in outhouses. And now there are hardly any bites of black widow spiders. And did you know that the black widow spider venom is 15 more times more potent than rattlesnake venom? And that the, the reason it's named the black widow is because it kills the male after it's uh, mating and it eats his head off. And half the babies eat each other, too. Only about 12 survive. Hey, Reuben. Yeah. This is pretty interesting, though, too. Saginaw Bay, Perch and Walleye. It's pretty good articles about deer migration, too. that nuts? Yeah, I know it, John, yeah. Good, Ruben, how you doing? Oh, you're just a little north of India? I like that area. I like that Carmel. I see that doctor that died of COVID was staying in Carmel. That Sharon, uh, was it was it Sharon? That African American doctor? Oh no kidding blue Malibu, wow. Yeah, Noblesville and that I, I think you're the guy that made the comment on that one uh, farm that was out of business. I took some photos of those trucks and stuff around there. Yeah, Maddie and Gerald, yeah. Yeah, I can't quite... Did you ever figure out what the deal was on that place? I didn't see it at for sale anywhere. And it looked like they had other locations that were still open. See you, Patrick. No, not in this one, Brian, no. they've kind of, That's kind of died out. They were worried about it in Michigan, I know that, which is why they banned baiting. Yeah. Chronic wasting. They had that in parrots when I was breeding parrots, too. Chronic wasting disease. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I know they had an issue with that with kids and dairy farming up around where I live. Kids didn't want to do it anymore. It's 
crazy they had to spend this kind of money just to go over this little bullshit river. Yeah, that's it, yep. Good, Chrissy, how you doing? Yeah, I can't imagine owning a dairy farm. I'd rather go to prison. I think Gerald was always in the picture. I just didn't meet him till down the road. I think they're doing all right. Oh, good. I don't think Man Maddie needs to work too much anymore. I think they're getting uh, income uh, sent to them, which is good. This guy was telling me this morning that uh, when the ice is really clear, the fish see you coming, walking across the ice, they take off. He said, but they usually come back. Yeah, I don't think she does. Oh, good. Oh, really, Brian? Oh, okay. Did they open up ponchos yet, or is that still closed? Do you know that over there on uh, Lafayette and Dragoon, or you know Kitty Corner to where Marguerite stays? Is that is that still closed? Yeah, you're right. Dollar twenty-seven a gallon. Yeah. Still closed, huh? That's something suspicious going on there. Uh, any, I, I don't, I don't understand that. Oh, was he? Ninety cents. Wow. Oh, you have dairy farmers pay? Now this bridge is solid as a rock. That was a, a thriving business. So why would it be done? All those uh, people putting in the new bridge were going over there to eat. It was busy. Yeah, I mean, I talked to people that were in there and said that it didn't even look like anything was damaged inside. Solid as a rock, Kim. Yep.
Wasn't that Ashford and Simpson? Solid as a rock. There's a lot of people come down here and look around during the daytime. It's an interesting place. I wonder if this guy next to me ever sees that bald eagle. Hey, Michael. I hope, uh, I hope I, the cell phone, so this is kind of a neat place here. It's like the old days, old looking stores. Oh, yeah, I believe it. See, this is there's only a few spots where you can point forward and see the bridge. Did you guys get your lottery tickets? This place looks like a step back in time. I got one of these tires I put on, it's been leaking air already. We'll see how bad it is tomorrow. Yeah, you need to get get one each. Mega Millions and uh, Powerball. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. It was super low this morning. I probably shouldn't have driven on it. Yeah, evidently he's got some kind of neurological issue. This is Carrollton, Michigan. Yeah, yep.
Yeah, you're right, Tim. But check these old buildings out. Yeah, Mary knows him. I guess he's like 80 years old. And his wife died, he's having a hard time. Yeah, his dog died too. Yeah, I'll be back going back by that way. I mean, look at this old Eagles Club up here. VFW, I guess it is. Well, thanks, Michael. This is uh, Carrollton, Michigan like an industrial area next to Saginaw. Yeah, I thought I should have been nicer to him. I just thought it was a little weird that He'd be coming up without a mask, reaching into a bag with no gloves and handing me a donut. And then when he didn't know of a bakery in the town he lives in, I thought, this is just too weird. Well, now I understand it, but I didn't at the time. Yeah, I know, it was sad. He's a retired state trooper. can tell the days are getting longer. But check out these old asbestos houses and stuff.
These people have tarps over their roof. Thanks, Watson. Hey Dan. In Ann Arbor? No, it's very nice. Upper middle class. Even the doctors can't afford to live in Ann Arbor anymore. It's also hard to park there, so get there early. Where are you coming from, uh, Amy? Where are you be coming from? Yeah, it's really super nice, super safe. Oh, you gotta go all the way there, huh? Hey, Steven. Yeah, yeah, you'll be, it's, it's really nice. A lot of nice everything there. And are you gonna spend the night or are you just gonna get up early and go? Because you can get a, a pretty good hospital rate at most of the places. And if you don't get the hospital rate, it's kind of expensive. Look at this old bar. Big Bill's Good Time Bar. Yeah, there's a uh, there's the Holiday Inn Express. I think it's the Holiday Inn Express. It's over near the Wendy's, near the airport. Gives a really good rate. That's a nice place, and you can also get a pretty good rate at the Red Roof Inn on uh, Plymouth Road, which is not far from the hospital. Other than that, you'd be paying up the yin yang. Yeah, check out. There's a. Uh, if you're not sure, let me know and I'll I'll look it up for you because I, I would take my sister down there, and we'd stay. I, I want to. It could be a Hampton Inn or a Holiday Inn Express. It's right across the street from Wendy's, and they gave a pretty good rate. You gotta you know show them your registration to the doctor's appointment and stuff. But other than that, I mean, it'd be nothing to pay 175 a night or something. Oh, you work for Hilton? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's probably the way to go, though.
Yeah, you'll be really happy there. It's uh, parking's easy. They have valet parking too if you don't want to screw around with it. Are you gonna take somebody with you? Or are you gonna go by yourself? No, don't be nervous about it at all. Nope, scratch that. It's probably one of the safer cities in the whole country. Yeah, super safe. No, it's, you'll love it there. You know, I think the median house price is like 390 grand or something. Like I said, even the doctors can't afford to live in the city limits any longer. Are you going to the main hospital or are you going to one of those satellite offices like at Domino's Farmers or something? Oh, okay, yeah, because of COVID, yeah. No, you'll be fine, super safe there. There's two big parking lot, three I think, it's A, B, and C, or one, two, and three, I forget how they, it's all, easily marked and it's easy in easy out I will tell you this though depending on what time your appointment is there's a lot of traffic around there so I don't know what time your appointment is it doesn't matter when you're leaving because you know you're not in a hurry but getting there you depending on what time your appointment is uh, you want to plan early because it parking is a problem there sometimes and the city itself is congested in the morning Oh, okay, good. Yeah, you'll be in good shape then. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good. Oh, really, Blue Malibu? No kidding, huh? Wow. Yeah, I'm sure people aren't hanging around waiting rooms. I never thought of that. I don't know that they can actually, you have a hard time getting a cell phone signal in uh, U of M's parking structure. It's like this mega concrete structure and then, you know, the hospital's mega concrete. I know a lot of the x-ray is done and the MRIs, the imaging on the bottom floor. You can't get a cell phone signal at all. right there like I said uh, there's a lot of good places to eat in Ann Arbor too although now you got to eat it in your car there's a good I can tell you all the good places to eat yeah germs There's a good sub place over on Stadium, not too far. A lot of good Asian places. They have a really nice mall there, too, and the malls are open. Ann Arbor Mall, Briarwood. Yeah, I haven't eaten at that Rico's a lot. I had Mr. Hot Dog today. This is where I think you and your wife should move down to and start a family. Carrollton. Oh, half her hope. Oh, okay. No, you you're in a, you'll be in a super safe place now. If you were going to Cleveland Clinic, I tell you to take a damn shotgun with you. You want to talk about a bad area? But Ann Arbor is as good as it gets. Yeah, this is like uh, old school. Uh, this place hasn't changed since it was built. Oh, are you, Faye?
I think from Valparaiso, that ought to take you to get to Ann Arbor about... Let me think about this. Four hours. Yeah, I think that this COVID could put Jim's out of business for good. That place sucks anyway. Hey, Tim. Yeah, it'll dry your hands on. It's getting older, too. Getting older does that. Yeah, University of Michigan, yep. Yeah. Uh, you'll be fine there. Tell you another thing in Ann Arbor, watch your speed big time. The speeds are slow around there and they are constantly hiding behind trees and you know parked in hard to see places. They're really tough on speed there. You know, you got a lot of college kids walking around and patients, but the speeds are low 25, 35, and it's easy to speed if you're coming in off uh, Washington or something. Yeah, you'll be you'll be a good. You got a that's a like top notch rated hospital. I mean, it's not perfect, but you, you, that's a good place to go. I'm surprised they didn't have you go to one of those Chicago hospitals. You know, you could have got on the old train. Look at this old time party store here. Look at this old bar. Yeah, it's really dry out. Yeah, you got it. Do you run a humidifier in your house? Oh, Grandpa Tony's? Yeah, you got to pay for them, yep. Oh, did you go to Northwestern? Oh, all right. You know all about it then. wonder why they didn't send you there. A rush. Yeah, Northwestern's nice. What, what major? It's also expensive as hell. Yeah, I got, I, I use a humidifier, it helps. If you, ha I don't know if you have a house or you're renting or what, but I haven't done it. I'm gonna do it, I, I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna get a good humidifier. Well, I do have one of those Mickey Mouse drip systems, but those aren't worth shit. I'm gonna get a really good one for next winter. Yeah.
Yeah, get one uh, bolted on your uh, get get one put on your uh, uh, heater. They. The other one, I, I have one in my bedroom, and then I've got that rinky-dink one that's supposed to humidify the whole house, but it doesn't. Here's a Zawaki bridge from underneath. It's kind of cool. I think it is. You know, that's all locked up with the chain. That's how it ought to be going into Detroit, and it's not. It's all wide open, which doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, no graffiti, no. Good luck to you there. I, I think you'll be happy. See you, Sassy. Yeah, when is, when is your appointment? What day is it, Amy? What day do you need to go in there? You know that you know the I'm suspicious of that Purell. They get like double the ratings than the other hand sanitizers. And it's twice as much. If you look on Amazon or eBay, who who is promoting this stuff so much? But they've definitely got an edge on the marketing angle. They just uh, legalized mushrooms there too, Amy. And they have a hash bash every year, so if you're all anxiety ridden in the parking deck, you can get stoned because it's legal. Hey, Cynthia. I don't know if you're a conservative or liberal, but if you're liberal, you'll be in heaven. When you check in, tell them you're a lesbian, you'll, they'll put you in the front of the line. And that you hate men, and they'll see you right away. Wear a Biden t-shirt. You'll be golden. Oh, that's pretty good. You know, if you read uh, the amount on some of the cheapo uh, hand sanitizers, though, I don't believe. Now, before this COVID stuff, there were some compelling studies that showed that the hand sanitizer killed the good bacteria and that you were likely to catch some diseases you wouldn't have otherwise because of no natural defense. You know, I'm still kicking. I'm not dead yet. I don't. I don't wash my hands like a. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. If you've got, if you see guys out there that are washing their hands more than women, they're gay. A normal guy, you you couldn't get him to wash that. 
wash his hands that much if you paid him a hundred dollars a time. It's just not in the DNA. He doesn't mind putting a mask on and doing it here and there, but he's not going to be like running around with a little uh, two ounce thing of gel in his pocket. Yeah, I hate to tell you that, but that's just the way it is. If you're on a date and uh, you're sitting at your table, if we, if you can ever go in a restaurant and eat again, and you say to the guy, oh God, I forgot my hand sanitizer. And if he says, oh, don't worry about it, reaches in his pocket and brings out a two ounce bottle of it, he's gay. And he's trying to like women because they told him to do that in Bible study. Now, if you're sitting across from a real man and you say, God, I forgot my hand sanitizer, and he said, yeah, I, I never have it. Uh, I, I don't have any, sorry. You're, that's the kind of guy you, you're going to have a future with. These are all little dating tips. I'm going to come out with a channel on dating tips. Wedmore, you know it's true. Yeah. And if he acts like he really cares how your day went, I mean, gets choked up and stuff if you had a bad day, he's gay. Yeah, thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, thank you. Now see, at Carrollton, it's, it's pretty damn convenient, I'll tell you that. You see how close I am to all this bullshit? If your date wants to go to Hobby Lobby and Christmas shop, he's gay. You say to a real man, it's like, hey, would you mind if I, would you like to go to Hobby Lobby? It's like, nah, I, I, don't, I don't think I want to go there. Nah, nah, I, I don't want to look at plastic plants three for a dollar. That's the real kind of guy you're looking for. I feel bad Sears went out of business. I used to get all my school clothes there when I was a kid. Now they're, you couldn't find a place in the parking lot. It was the biggest Sears in the world. Lincoln Park, Michigan. Now it's just a vacant lot. Yeah, that's what I do, I take a, yeah. I'll go to Hobby Lobby. Or puppy shopping, that's another big thing. If this guy you're interested in, you go on puppy shopping, he's looking at little rat terriers and mini dachshunds and toy cup poodles. He's gay too. You want a guy that's looking for Rottweilers and pit bulls. Irish wolfhounds, attack dogs, badasses. Yeah, but you're you're female, Cynthia. I mean, if you if there's a guy that you're interested in, he's got a rat terrier, and he's got a spiked collar on it. He's gay as hell. He's so gay. I told you guys, I'm at liberty to tell you how I really feel. I don't have to be politically correct. I don't have to, uh, I don't have to act like all this bullshit's normal. Yeah, I agree. Daisy is gay. A gay dog. I, I agree. No, I, I, I agree totally. No, you're right about that. But Daisy turned out, I mean, I wouldn't take a million dollars for, I, I'm, I'm going to claim the, I, I'll, I'll step up to the plate on the gay ship, Daisy. I will. I'll claim it. Because I agree. It's like a total gay dog. But she's not really once you get to know her. <laughs> it's so cool. And she doesn't have a spiked collar. 
But yeah, it is as gay looking as it gets. I agree. I had people say stuff to me about that. They asked me if I put powder on her and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Shane. Hey, Stephanie. Yeah, Daisy's cool. Yeah, Daisy's a great dog. Yeah, Daisy's not... I give her a shower, actually. She's, she's not big on it, though, I'll tell you that. Now, here's another thing about dating if you're looking for a man's man. You know, not some guy considering transgender surgery. He wants to go over here to this Harbor Freight Tools. He could spend two hours in there looking at the same shit. Then he'll maybe go over to uh, Guitar Center. These are all huge indicators. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that barking those beagles do. They're a pain in the ass. That barking would drive me nuts. I mean, they're plus they're a hunting dog. It's not a house pet. I don't think it's an indoor dog. I mean, they're cute, and I'm sure there are good beagles around and stuff. But I mean, I could would never say that I couldn't end up with one somehow. But I I, I don't think I'd go out looking for one. Yeah, Bledmore, now we're talking. That's my man. Yeah, bingo, that's it. Yeah, that's the first prize. Nah, you know, I had... Uh, nah, I don't. I tried. I, I swear to God, man, I could... I, I, I think I just have no aptitude for music. I mean, I like it. I'm not a nut about music. I, I had three brand new Stratocasters and a couple other custom-made guitars. And I tried for a whole year learning how to play, and it sounded like a monkey got a hold of a guitar after an hour a day practice for six months. It, it sounded like you gave one of those plastic guitars to a three-year-old. I mean, I, I didn't improve at all. I watched videos. I watched, uh, I read books. I watched, you name it. And then I see some dope smoking heroin freak that OD'd six months later and he's just like jamming like you can't believe and I realized right then that this has got to have something to do with my genetics yeah I, I tried I, I, I couldn't do it nope you know I know people that couldn't graduate from the University of Michigan because they could not pass the foreign language requirement they were getting A's in organic chemistry and uh advanced calculus and doing well in engineering but they could not pass that damn advanced language requirement it's a it's a way your brain is sometimes an aptitude of things you know you, you figure out as you get older what you're good at and what you're not like i can't draw worth a shit or paint that's a real talent i mean i'm all right like i wouldn't even say i'm average I mean, I don't, I don't really have any talents and stuff like that. I mean, I don't really consider free and art. Any old fucking dumbass can look through a hole and push a button. It's not like drawing or sculpting. or. I mean, I, I took a couple sculpting classes because you had to have an art uh, class. And it, it looked like somebody with Down syndrome that made it. <laughs> I'm not shitting you. Yeah, I don't mind listening to music a little bit, but, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll be into it, like, occasionally, and then I'll find my favorite CD stuck to the battle, back of a two-liter Diet Coke jammed in the closet. And if I was really into it, you know, it'd never be that lost, or I'd take better care of it. I just found this <laughs> CD melted to a Taco Bell wrapper the other day under the seat. Yeah, I like music, but... Yeah. Yeah, no, that Geek Squad's uh, keeping him in business, the Geek Squad. Yeah. They were almost out of business twice already. Yeah. You look at their ratings, they get, they really went downhill. I, I'm gonna, I haven't been in a Best Buy in a long time. I'm going to go in there and look around. And uh, their shelves will probably be half empty. I just want to see what they're getting for some of this junk. Hey, by the way, I found a really good computer place in Bay City. He sells on eBay, too. 
super kick-ass shit. It's almost wholesale. Yeah, I, I, I marked the page on my eBay. Plus, they do repair. Yeah, it's a good one. There's a really good computer place out of Cleveland, Ohio, Adamant, but I think this place is just as good. This guy is a full-time computer tech. He probably works at Geek's One. But he's got perfect ratings. I, I looked at their prices. You can get like a smoking video editing machine for a grand, which is cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I got I got an air fryer. I'm gonna give it to Cynthia. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. You know, I like I broil steaks. Big deal. All I do is put the broiler on and keep checking it once in a while. Anybody could do it. I do uh, broil fish. Uh, I deep fry shrimp and peanut oil. But you're not going to catch this macho man stud muffin doing any complex sautéing and marinating in 18 steps. You know why? Because <laughs> I'm not gay. Now, Geep's got will rip you off. Now they try and, uh, the, I'll tell you what Geep's going to have. They have this machine in there. It's like 300 grand. And it's this software, uh, it's this software, uh, you know, magic machine that they plug it in that tells you what's wrong with the computer. Software and hardware. It's basically just mix and match, plug and play. These clowns aren't diagnosing anything on their own. Yeah, well, what's computers are, are not that complicated. What's wrong with your computer, Cynthia? You probably got too much soft porn on there. Yeah. I mean, it's not like the old days. You know, 20 years ago, something went wrong with your computer, you'd hit the panic button. you get a virus. One time I got a virus clicking on a porn site. Because you get the virus, even if you have antiviral wear, it's not going to help you. Because you're getting it through the browser where the pages are communicating. And all the icons on my desktop just fell to the corner like leaves. And I thought, God damn it, I wonder how much this is going to cost me to get fixed. I don't think that way anymore. I haven't hired anybody to fix a computer in 15 years. I don't even, in Windows uh, 10, they're, they're free. Uh, uh, malware and uh, virus protection is better than anything I ever bought. I haven't gotten any viruses. And that's clicking on uh, Pornhub and Hamster and all that shit. Pornhub and Hamster, they work more. You you got a better chance of getting a virus off MBN, NB, NBC uh, or the New York Times than you do a porn site. Because the last thing they want people having happen is going to a porn site and getting a virus. So they're on that shit. Yeah, it's so easy now, Cynthia. What is it you are you trying to do with it? I could probably talk it, talk, talk you through it on the phone. It's so ridiculously easy. When I got, I had computers in the office, like in the '80s. I didn't know how to use any of them. And then when I moved to Chicago in '98, I bought my first computer in the fall, and I thought, man, I'm never going to learn how to use this thing. You know, I'd ask my seven-year-old neighbor. But, you know, now I've been fooling around with computers for over 20 years, so I'm up to speed with everybody else, but it took a while. Yeah, but if you bought a new computer, it should be just plug and play. You should be able to fire that baby up. And be good to go. I mean, there shouldn't be anything you have to do, like installing Windows or anything like that. But I think, like, you know, computers and stuff, I think it's just like, like you know, my ability to play music, which is none. You know, did Guitar Center go out of business? That whole building looks dark as hell. It doesn't look like there's any lights on inside there. Did they go out of business? That place is totally dark.
Yeah, Bill Gates was a total asshole at the beginning. Just a complete jerk. And then Apple came out, which was worse. Now it's kind of an open market on computers, so they don't have you by the balls like they used to. Oh, they've been saying that. Yeah, that that looks like they're out of business. That store's dark. I hate to see any place go out of business. I mean, if you've ever been self-employed, you realize, uh, you know, even a s small company like Guitar Center, I mean, to come up with, like, these kind of buildings all over the country and then have the, the economy go south and then get nailed with COVID, it's just sad because it's nothing they could have helped. And all that effort and capital, venture capital, all down the shitter. Yeah, I think that's closed. Yeah, that's too bad. That Laith El Sadi, the guy from Ann Arbor that was on The View or The Voice or whatever it was, he took second place in their national contest. Hey, Andrea. Yeah, people's jobs. Yeah, it sucks. I will, Cynthia, I will. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, but, you know, on the other hand, Amazon's doing what you're taught to do in every college and business class you take, and that is capitalism, and they've excelled at it. So it's hard to get mad at Amazon. Everybody else would have done it to them, too. They just didn't. It worked out for them. And it's, if people didn't buy off Amazon, they wouldn't be doing anything. So I'm not an Amazon fan at all. I used to be. And then I realized that their ratings were fake and they were selling a bunch of junk. So I'd just as soon pay more at a, and support a better place. I'd rather get stuff through eBay than Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, I saw they bought some of those used airplanes because the prices are down. I mean, that just catches up with society eventually, though. That's why, like I've said a million times, I buy books at Barnes & Noble. Not because I couldn't get them cheaper someplace else. And I don't buy them all there. I don't even buy most of my books there. But I bet I buy a third of them there because I want them to be around. It's just the like same reason I donate money to Wikipedia. You know, I use it all the time. I'm looking things up. And you, it's just not going to be around if some cheapskate uses it all the time and doesn't send them 50 bucks a year. I mean, it's a super deal. Totally gay, Lana. Totally gay. Another gay thing is when a guy's talking about a telephone conversation and he's holding his index finger and his pinky like he's talking on the phone. That is so gay. Yeah. I'm, at, uh, I'm in Sag Saginaw. This is actually Saginaw Township. In front of a Best Buy. Yeah. You're a cheapskate? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't I don't like uh I like looking at a bookstore. I was in there today. I, I bet I'm in there once a week. I'm surprised these UPS stores haven't went tits up, too. You know, that's a way higher price than if you go to the UPS itself. Everybody I know that bought one of those or took them over lost their ass. Oh, boy, Tim. Good luck. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, I think the house phone's pretty much dead. They don't even offer them now on your cable package. Yeah, who who wants a house phone? Unless you're running some scam and you need another fake phone phone number to plug in the mix. You're generous? What's the problem with your computer, Cynthia? What is you you just don't know how to like get it going or what?
Oh, is that right, Blue? <coughs> yeah, I haven't had a landline, jeez, probably 10 years. Hey, Jennifer, how you doing? Chipotle does suck. Man, have you seen their stock? Their stock's over $1,000 a share. And their food sucks. Hey, hi, Priestess. How you doing? Thank you. Look at Daisy's hair growing out. This is my sleepy girl that I run around quite a bit. Yeah, hon. It's my girl, honey. That's all I got to show. Amy, what'd you major in at Northwestern Journalism? Yeah, you're right about that, Cynthia. Yeah, it's true, Dan. Yeah, it's true. Hey, baby. When I was a kid growing up, we had party lines. You shared a line with your neighbors. Goodbye, Faye. Oh, you had to see a doctor there. Oh, okay. That's a beautiful, uh, you, you could have went to the, uh, did you go to the hospital or did you go to that big place they have downtown? That Northwestern something else they call it. Yeah, listening in, it was fun, wasn't it, Faye? Yeah, I got a couple of hot dogs, this good hot dog place today. And, uh, they're good. Kogel hot dogs. Oh, yeah, and I forget what they call that place. Yeah, I went there a couple times, like a big building. It's all their affiliated doctors. Yeah, she, she, Penny's got a good appetite. Hey, Judah. You go over to Chesterton, Chesterton much, Amy? You get over there? Yeah, I'll get something to eat. Where at, though? Where do you want to get it? Where do you want to get something to eat? Yeah, I was in Zawaki a little while ago, yep. Carrollton, yeah. Yeah, that's a cute little town, Chesterton. They got a good pizza place there. Hey, Penny. Oh, that's cool, Cynthia. Yeah, that's a cool little town, Chesterton. When you go down to Chicago, do you take the train or do you drive in? Yeah, most women don't like porn. They don't. They like catching guys watching it and telling them not to do it anymore. Any woman, I've never really met a woman that liked porn. I'd, I'd, my radar would be on full time. Yeah, that's the name of it. Yep. They still in business? Oh, okay. Yeah, I used to get a pizza there. Hit the road, get back on the road. 
You ever go over to the casino there in Michigan City and gamble? Yeah, driving in Chicago, man, is not for the faint-hearted. Yeah, I like Mr. Hot Dog. I mean, that's good, bad food for you. Yeah, okay. In hey, Michigan City, I like that town. You ever go to, you ever get a, you ever go to get a minor done, done uh, hamburger, Amy? Minor done hamburger? Over there in Highland, they got another one on 421 Michigan City, where they smash the burger thin. Hey, Letha, how you doing? No, I never did, Judah. Nope. Yeah, New Buffalo is nice. Yeah, that's all Chicago people. I like seafood, but I don't know. I don't know where to get it anymore. Yeah, they used to do that in Florida at the Home Depot. They don't do that up where I'm at. Home Depot has shitty lumber. If you look at it, it's all stamped from China, even the pine. You can get way better lumber at Lowe's and Menards. Especially Menards. Hey, homebrews, how you doing? Fuzzy. Oh, I don't, yeah, I didn't really spend too much time in Valparaiso. Do they still have that? Was that a Borders or a Barnes & Noble? Yeah, she's zonked down. She ran her ass off today on the ice. Michigan. No, it's up to you. I don't care. It's up to you. What time are you going to be ready to do that? I was going to run in this Best Buy, but I can do it after if you're ready now. Hundred spots between here and the door, and this guy parks right next to me. Okay, yeah, just just call me when you want. I'll be in here decking around. I gotta I gotta park right now that all these people are showing up. I guess uh, Best Buy gets busy after five. Yeah, poor old, you know, there's a sign though that says open in uh, Guitar Center, but that can't possibly be open. It's darker than hell in there. That's an old sign that stayed open for a different business.
Hey, laid back. How you doing? Yeah, I think that's another business. That's it. So it is open? What do they got the windows blacked? What do they got like shades down or something? All the things in the windows are dark. Oh, thanks, Ethan. I just haven't been down to Detroit. Just kind of got bored with it. Spending too much time handing stuff out, not running into people. You know, like I've said all along, it's not like some cash grab. Just because I get a lot of attention on videos, it's not like I'm going to go out and just do a bunch more because of that. When I feel like doing it, I do, and when I don't, I don't. You know, I'm not trying to, like, drive numbers up or subscribers or any of that stuff. Yeah, I just got, just got, you know, sick of it. That's my daisy girl. No. No, Cynthia, no. Nope. No, I don't have any of that. No, I don't work. No, no tax ID, nothing. I mean, you could set it up that way if you wanted to. I never did, though. You could do it that way. You're not just a leech. Daisy's my business. That's my Daisy sleeping. Daisy's zonked out. Oh, good. Hey, Patricia, how you doing? Uh, yeah, I, you know, I got a bunch of stuff I haven't, including cash, that I was unable to hand out after being down there two months. I've got two big boxes of clothes, which I may have to wait till spring because it's mostly summer stuff. So I and I got a bunch of stuff shipped to me, unfortunately. So I got plenty to hand out, but thank you. That's a chat, classy. Oh, that's good, Patricia. Yeah, it was fun, Lana. I did that too. Yeah, yep. No, I didn't. No. Well, she better study up for a private detective test because that test is a bitch in Florida. Yeah, I know I'm a little tired today for some reason. I don't know why.
Yeah, heavy near to you as well. Yep. Yeah, but if you're not driving, it's a pain in the ass to fly. Don't forget to get your lottery tickets. Yeah, I never really thought about the bus and the germ thing. You got a good point on that. Oh, okay, Amy. Yeah, I'm about 150 miles from Ann Arbor. I got a lot of stuff to hand out already, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I don't know a train. You know, trains, like, you know, you got to go like a thousand miles the wrong way before you head towards the destination you want to go to. Usually. They're so out of the way. Oh, okay. When when is your appointment, Amy? Yeah, flying's a pain in the ass now too. Okay, Amy. Oh my God, Claudia, no kidding. Thank you, Cynthia. Now I'm going to go into this Best Buy and check things out. So I'll be on later, you guys. I hope you guys have a good night tonight. Go check and see what they have in here. Oh, okay. See you, Cynthia. Yeah, I'm at the mall in Saginaw right now. Yep. Yeah, good. No, good for you, Amy. Glad you're getting an appointment. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Thanks a lot. All right, you guys. Have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye, Penny. See you, Dan. See you, Letha. See you, Debbie and Dave.